What's up guys, Lou here, and today we're taking a look at a product from Mediasonic. Uh, it's an inexpensive external storage box for three and a half inch hard drives. It is incredibly simple and straightforward. It just takes a bunch of these guys, three and a half inch drives, and turns them into external USB 3 or eSATA storage. Now in this particular case, there's no RAID controller built in. I'm not really interested in using RAID functionality with this enclosure. This is just a bunch of disks that I wanna use for different files, media files, backing up, etc. And since I had a couple of 1.5 inch, 1.5 terabyte, 3.5 inch drives sitting around, I was like, you know what? Why go and get a really super expensive external uh, box that already has the drives in it when I can get an enclosure and use the stuff I already have. Plus I have a four terabyte drive. So I'm gonna be putting seven terabytes of storage in here along with leaving one bay open to expand at a later date, maybe with another four terabyte. Uh, again, this is really inexpensive. I will link it down in the description. It should be around a hundred bucks, depending on where you find it. Very useful for individuals who are on a laptop, or in my case, a Mac Pro, which doesn't have a ton of in internal storage. So I can sit this thing away from the system if it makes a little bit of noise, not such a big issue. And I can hide it in a cabinet and just have one single USB 3.0 cable going back to the Mac Pro. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and take a closer look and of course install all of the drives that I have over there. Now I don't expect too many surprises in here, probably just the box, a power adapter, a USB cable, box number one, and item number two. There's a 16 terabyte capacity on here apparently. And as I said before, it has eSATA functionality. So in theory, if you had a RAID controller, you could use use this with RAID functionality if that's something you're looking to do through that eSATA port. But of course, eSATA is not all that quick these days compared to USB 3 or Thunderbolt for that matter. Maybe if you have some old uh, eSATA functionality that, that's sitting around an eSATA card installed in an old PC or old Mac Pro or something like that. So if you have eSATA equipment, this will support that. So it's a nice tiny little box here. Build quality feels really nice. This is metal up here. On the front you have uh, the ProBox logo, four bay enclosure, a little bit of plastic here protecting the front. There's some buttons on the, on the front as well. There's an interface button, a sync button, a fan button. It does have either automatic or manual fan control depending on what you're going for. There is an internal thermal sensor which will be able to adjust the fan speed in conjunction with the heat of the drives that are installed in there. Since I'm gonna be using this as a, just a bunch of big disks, I won't necessarily need to worry about the sizes of the drives matching like you would in a RAID configuration. This door on the front, let me see if I can, oh cool, okay, you just, there you go, it's spring loaded, you just push down and then boom, just like that. Well, this comes right off and you have a hard drive one, hard drive two, hard drive three, and hard drive four. You pinch there, easy. That comes off, this comes out, and that's it. You have all of your connections in the back there. I guess I might as well go ahead and attempt to, okay, let me just show you the back, the side and the back first before I install the drives. Here's where your power port is for your power adapter, which I assume is in this box over here. Yep power adapter, power cable, a USB 3 cable, eSATA cable, cool, and the cages. It looks like these are gonna have to be installed onto your drives. Yeah, onto your drives before they go in. So there is a little bit of installation required. So this little booklet here will get you started. Normally I don't read these things, but in this case it's useful when you're dealing with anything mechanical. The back you can see a fan as well as your eSATA connector and a USB 3 port. And then if I pull this off, what is that? I don't know. I think this is only used when you have a, another interface. They do make different uh, models of this Pro Box. And so maybe if you add a third interface like Firewire or I don't, they don't make a Thunderbolt one, but maybe if there's another interface on your box, it'll probably use that section right there. So otherwise a pretty stock looking box. Now it is time for me to do the installation. So I'll probably speed through this part and come back after I've got these things installed. Compare the Lord to no man moves, I never fake them. Or I like the YQB, 
beef, you just a steak em. Pin with your eyes for the taste, to serve a table side My lyric through the vocal, take my palate on the flavor Right, it's obvious I'm born to do it Right out of flushing, percussion gushing After the session, right to the luncheon On my Scandinavian shit, serve up a puffin Find a shorty goggle the mouth for stuff a muffin duffin Many blunts to the neck, what you expect? I'm a vet, show the respect, same shit your father get Okay, so there you have it. Very easy installation, actually. This is pretty heavy now. Uh, much more solid than I expected it to be for the price. Feels robust. The drives install very easily. There is a little bit of tool work involved, but it's dead simple. And they include a mini screwdriver, which is awesome. Of course, you're gonna wanna put your extra little thing here, your extra little adapter in a safe spot for when you wanna expand the last bay, or maybe you already have done so when you purchase this thing if you have four drives. Uh, but these are just, they basically are like little handles so that you can get the drives out easily when you want to. They do make a RAID version of this if you are interested in setting up like a RAID 5, RAID 0, RAID 1. You're still stuck with USB 3 instead of say like Thunderbolt 2 on the new Pegasus product but that's a totally different price bracket, so it's, it's hard to even compare, but the main thing here is that now I have seven terabytes sitting here, seven terabytes of external storage, very inexpensive device. So if you've got hard drives lying around, this is a great way to utilize them in one convenient little package with one USB cable, instead of say getting uh, an independent external enclosure for each of those hard drives and then having a bunch of different drives sticking out of the back of your PC. So I'm gonna go and set this thing up with my Mac Pro, do some backup do some tests, put my move some of my media over here, and I'll probably use the four terabyte internal drive as a backup drive, a time machine drive, and then the other two 1.5 terabyte drives as just extra storage because I've only got one TB of SSD. I can't believe I said only one TB of SSD. I've got the one terabyte Mac Pro, so it's not really enough for all of my extra media, etc. So therefore, what I'll be doing is just keeping the OS on the one terabyte terabyte SSD, the applications, and then whatever project I'm currently working on because it is very quick. Uh, obviously, internal SSD is about as fast as you can get. The model name and number is kind of not very attractive. HF2-SU3S2. <laughs> anyway, I'll link the product down in the description if you are interested. And as always, if you have any questions about this product or anything featured here on the channel, make sure to ask me on Twitter. It's the place where I'm the most active. I am at Unbox Therapy. Thanks as always for watching. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and I will catch you on the next episode. Later guys. So not only is Squarespace a great place to set up your very first website, it's also a great place to set up your very first web store. That's because they've got commerce functionality built right in. No extra charge. It's there and it's very easy to use. In fact, I have already implemented it on my site, UnboxTherapy.com. We sell some t-shirts and some stickers, just basic stuff, but it works just as well for digital merchandise. So if you're a musician, maybe a, a hip hop producer, or you're in a band and you want to start to monetize some of your content, it's a great way to reach out to fans and to actually sell some stuff to them. The interface is incredibly easy to use. Trust me, I was intimidated at the concept of e-commerce in the beginning and having used the Squarespace service, I am not intimidated at all anymore. In fact, I've had a great experience uh, tracking orders, taking orders, taking payments. It's all right there in one simple, easy to use interface. Full details in the description as well as a special promo code just for you guys. Uh, thanks again to Squarespace. All right, catch you guys on the next video. Later.